Nathaniel here. We've got a fun one. Uh, oh, let me, I don't want to restart and clear all output. So we've got a fun one today. Um, so welcome to uh, a bit of data science and scikit-learn where we learn just a teeny little bit of data science and a whole lot of scikit-learn. Um, I'm talking about density estimation today. If there were one of these that you would like to skip, you know, you just thought like, ah, oh, man, this guy, not a, not a nice guy. I want to skip one of these things. This would be the one. Uh, this is a little bit superfluous, uh, but I think it's somewhat cool. Um, if you guys have not checked out the Seaborn videos, the Seaborn Understanding the Weird Part, we do a lot more visualization. Uh, so it's a ton of visualization of these sorts of things. A lot of really nice KDE visualizations. Um, let's get started. Uh, you know, density estimation is trying to make some assumptions about uh, you know the distribution of your underlying data. Um, so it, I mean, it's not too much. This is, this is the entire thing here. Um, uh, the thing that is, um, and so and so you can make a couple of assumptions. You can try to fit uh, distributions to it. You, know, you can try to fit, you know, just like a Gaussian, or you can fit a gamma distribution to it. You know, if you see like a happy right tail. Another way you can do it is sort of like a non-parametric way. Um, which is KDE, kernel density estimation. And scikit-learn provides some nice facility for that. Um, so scikit-learn.neighbors.kde, it's called kernel density estimation. <clears throat> um, you know what, I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and, uh, and well, you know what, why don't we, why don't we put something above here? Um, I'll go ahead and I'll import this and I'll just show you the function signature. Um, <clears throat> So let's, let's actually look at what this does. So kernel density uh, has a couple of parameters. It has the bandwidth parameter. So this is the bandwidth to, of the kernel. Uh, if you guys don't know what kernel density estimation is, it's trying to make a distribution for your data. Um, and this is, uh, and the way it does it is that each data point represents a little Gaussian. And so we just go ahead and we add up all these little Gaussians and then we normalize and we get something that looks like a little distribution. And these Gaussians, um, have some variance, and that's kind of like the bandwidth. Um, you can change the kernel to different things. There's plenty of different kernels. Uh, there's been a lot of work that shows that this doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so, so that's what kernel density estimation is. Um, here, I've gone ahead and I've uh, you know made just a, a data array. It's got these two features. I'll go ahead and I'll uh, do kernel density estimation on it. We fit and then we can score the samples. So KDE is a little bit different. It's got some different stuff. It has score samples. So this is, you're not gonna see this anywhere else. Um, the idea is it's gonna say like, does it expect these things uh, to come from its estimation? And for the most part, yes, it, it very much so expects all these things to come from the estimation. Um, the idea is that each of these things was in the original data set. Um, however, if we were to uh, you know put something that wasn't in the original data set, like, uh, 32, 4, right? It's, whoa, it's like, that's nowhere near where we are. Um, what you can also do, so you can score samples, what you can also do is you can sample from, from on KDE, which is kind of cool. It's kind of fun. Um, I wanted to just show you like an interesting way that you could do prediction and modeling. Uh, so this is kind of like data transformation, data augmentation. We'll load Iris. Um, for each class, we'll go ahead and fit uh, a KDE to it, right? And we'll append each of these estimators. So we'll, so we'll have a couple of KDEs. And then for each estimator, we'll go ahead and we'll score the sample from the first one. So let's, let's see what happens, right? Um, so we've got three estimators, three kernel density estimators. And then we say, hey, let's look at our first sample, x0. What's the probability that x0 came from uh, each of these three estimators? The estimator for virginica, setosa, and versicolor. Uh, and we notice x0 corresponds to, and if we just go here, you guys have seen this before, is zero. It's the first one. The first one is the correct answer, and it looks like the first one is, is like the correct answer here. It's, it's got a much better score. Um, okay, so uh, this is about it. This is a kernel density estimation. It's just a little funky. It's got the score samples. It's got a sample method. You don't find this stuff often in scikit-learn. It's like somewhat outside the normal API, so I thought it would be useful to go over it. Um, okay, I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.